Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to BBY. This was my watch for yesterday, on Thursday, when the stock actually got. And it was a follow-through watch for today. This move today is outstanding. Outstanding. The weakness in this BBY today, look at this. <clears throat> From the moment it opened, it tried to get over $27. It couldn't do it I, right out of the gate at 9.30 in the morning and never looked back. The stock never looked back. This is actually a 15-minute chart. There is, you can't even barely see the green in this chart. In the 15 minutes, there's a tiny, weeny little bit of green there and there and a smidgen. And this would have kept going. I mean, this will keep going. This will keep going in money. This could have kept going today. 24.33 actually was the dream target, and it just ran out of day. And if it wouldn't have been 4 o'clock, this would have kept going here. This is a beautiful, 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 beautiful gap. And I'm going to go over what I did with it yesterday, too. But the main thing about this chart, and what I love about BBY, is the overall understanding of the trend here. So... I had a long, long, long discussion of this on Thursday in the room because it didn't work right as a short on the day of the gap. Even though the gap was an amazing gap, a beautiful gap, and I watched it as short and I did short it, but it didn't work. And I saw right away then that it was a failure, so I never retook it. And again, this is part of experience and maturity and why it's good to have a mentor uh, for someone that is experienced like me because I can see when something's a failure, so then if it doesn't work, I just don't go, keep going after it. The chart of BBY, was it an uptrend here, was it an uptrend here, broke, 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 fixed itself very quickly here, and then followed through for a brief period of time, broke again, gapped again, this is back in 2011, and then fell off a cliff. Tried to recover here and couldn't do it. This is all in a downtrend still, downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. Finally, at some point in here, you got to go back and look and find it. The stock had a bullish gap, and it was back up in an uptrend. It did not last long. It was very short-lived. This is back in 2013, and then the stock gap down and actually went neutral for a while. Strange, unusual stocks usually do not stay in a neutral trend position for long. If they do happen to be neutral, it usually doesn't last, and it's a, it's a pattern that when it sets up, will do one of two things. Either in the neutral position, it will go back in the original direction it was just in, or it will actually change then, okay? So that's what happened here this day of this gap yesterday. The problem was that there was so much volume in this into the gap in the pre-market morning at 7 o'clock when it got. There was 14 million shares, I think, or something before the open, before 9.30. All the sell-off happened into the gap in pre-market. So then there really wasn't any more sell-off action that happened on the day. But I knew, I knew this would follow through. I, I just knew it. This is exactly why the idea of people thinking that gap fills as a strategy is ridiculous, does not work, and it's not a way to trade. If you thought you were going to buy this yesterday or today or anywhere and get this back anywhere up here in the 30s, 30, 31, 32, 33, anywhere in here, it's not going to do it. It is not going to do it. This is a real, 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 real bearish gap that happened here yesterday, and the follow-through today is amazing. And the target on this is 20. 22, 21. 22 is the first target on this for a, a, a short swing trade. And, and the core target on this is even lower, basically 19, 18, 50. Really beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful gap in BBY and why it's so important to understand how to read price. How do I know all the things that I know about gaps? It's because I understand how to read price correctly. And that tells me what the trend is in a chart. And that tells me what direction to trade it, long or short. And, of course, there would you would never go long something like this. That is a real, real serious gap that happened in BBY yesterday. And the follow-through today was amazing, amazing. Just killer call I made in this here today. Let's come back. It's in the morning. Although you could have been in it really out of the gate. Sometimes you just know when something's going to go and fall off a cliff. I call this here 99 by 2605. Uh, 99 by 2605, I call this in the room. I said it's absolutely without a shot of a doubt going to $25. It is going to $25. I know I have 100% conviction it's going to $25. And not only did it not go to 20 not only did it go to $25, it went to almost a dream target, which was $24.33. And like I said, it just ran in a day, $24.41. 
the thing about understanding uh, what you do as a trader, and this is a talk that I had yesterday in reference to the conviction is, when, when you understand what you do, and you have conviction in your strategy, you have conviction in your analysis, it's the analysis that I have conviction in with what I do, with reading trends, and reading gaps, and reading price, and my understanding of technical analysis, when you have conviction in what you do, it is amazing how well you can read things and trade. It's, it's one of these things where I talked about it yesterday in the lecture, you can't have too much conviction. And when I see BBY today doing what I thought it was going to do yesterday, but knew it was going to do anyways, knew the gap yesterday, even though it fell in the day, was amazing, unbelievable, incredible bearish gap. It's, I can't tell you what this does for my conviction to see this, to see this here today. The, the system that I have to rate gaps is incredible. I am so grateful that I understand it, that I understand the market, that I understand gaps, that I understand how to read price and charts and trends and all of it. I, I consider myself so grateful that I know how to do it. And for those people that are finding me to come learn from me, they're, they're very special people because this stuff here that I am doing, that I'm seeing before it happens is by golly, it is special to be able to see that something's going to do like this today. This was not easy to see. It was not easy to read or even keep the conviction for the follow through here today. And that call that I made today, with, that six cents call I made today was incredible. Stock ran $1.50 from the call that I made with a six cents stock. <laughs> so this is lower. And on the day that this was on Thursday, I said, hold it overnight. Again, I don't do overnights, but so if anybody wants to do an overnight, hold it overnight. And if you held this overnight, you really got paid today. More sell-off happiness today. Who's in control of the stock? Who's in control of the trend? The trend is down. Me, B, Y is in a downtrend now. Boom, that's it. This is the confirmation. This is it. It's in a downtrend. It's over for this thing now. It's over. I read something, some analyst downgrade today that said the downgrade target was $33. That's above the price here. It's never going to get there. Never going to get there. This stock has been capitulated. This is crushed. This is over. This is done. That gap that happened yesterday was real. This move today is amazing. The follow through will continue on this on Monday. Mark my words. And it's because I know how to read trends and I understand how to do this. End gaps and everything. This is so crucial, so critical to having uh, uh, to being able to trade. I mean, how can you take size in anything? Whether it's a six cent stop or a 60 cent stop, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Seeing the entry and seeing the price and seeing what it's doing before it breaks, before it goes, before the momentum hits, that's what is so key. That's what's so special. That's where the skill is involved, to know, to, to know this is going to happen. I was one day early. One day early, this is what I wanted to do yesterday. So big whoop de doo I took the trade yesterday. I took a stop in it. Boom. Look at the thing that it did today. You got to understand what you do. And this is why people flip from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. They'll flip and do 25 different strategies. They'll go long, they'll go short, they'll go short, baby, why? Then they'll flip and go long, and they'll go short, then they'll go long. And you have to know what you're doing. You can't be going short along the same stock at the same time. And not only that, you have to have conviction in your strategy. I read that gap yesterday spot on. It didn't work yesterday. Big whoop de doo It worked today and was a huge, huge, huge trade, and, and it's still lower. So you have to understand what you're doing. You have to have conviction in your strategy. You have to have conviction in your targets and your entries and your sizing and everything, and that's how you make money. It's just so great. It's so great that I can see these things before they happen. I love what I do. I love teaching. I love trading. I love every time I do a class, it helps my conviction. Every time I see something before it happens and it plays out that way, it helps my conviction. You can't have too much conviction. You can't make too much money trading and you can't love what you do for a living uh, enough. And I really, really, really love trading, love trading, love teaching how to trade, love showing people that want to learn from me the right things to do, what this is, because it is very, very special. This is, this is special. To be able to see this here like this is, is a, a skill. This is not luck. This is 100% skill, 1,000% skill. So amazing move on BBY today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap. The chart is lower. Next target is $22. And it, I don't see any reason why it doesn't get there next week. And then after that, $18.50. Broke the number today. Broke the $25 mark and couldn't get a breath of air to save its life. No rally. No rally. No rally in this today and all none. Zero. Zip. Okay. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information on how to read trends so you know the right direction to take a trade. You know when to go long. You know when to go short.
you want to learn how to do that, I'm doing the trends class next week, Wednesday and Thursday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a great class on trends. It explains a lot of information about understanding long-term trends. It helps you as a day trader, helps you as a swing trader, helps you as a core trader. You know, you can't also learn enough from someone that can see technical analysis correctly because these are the types of things where it took me a long time to figure this out, just trading and studying and really having no life for a long, long time just reading charts. You can do that. You can just take a class and learn from me and be in the room. Uh, so, just a great call today. This was a super, super, super duper move here. Some people actually think that gap fills work. It's crazy. It doesn't work. This is a bearish gap. It's the chart's broken here. BBY, this is done now. Done! I can't tell you how bearish this gap is. I talked about it all morning yesterday. I talked about it all morning. I also talked about the fact there was too many people in it in the morning, and there was a chance it wasn't going to work right in the day, and that's why I didn't go crazy after it. Look, this is gapping down here post-market. Look. <laughs> Look, it's still moving down. Market's closed here. It's after four. This is still getting sold off. This could gap down on Monday. This is gapping down right now from where it closed. Because it closed at 2440. This could gap down on Monday morning. Look at the volume in this today. <gasps> Actually, I think it's more than it was yesterday. No, not quite. Still a lot. Whew. All right, this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information or if you want to do the trends class, it's next week. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to sign up for the trends class. What a great move in BBY today. Have a fabulous, fantastic weekend, everybody.